Hey Mario, this is Sean, Legendary Marine. Just want to give you a quick walkthrough video of this Parker that we were talking about. Um, take a peek and enjoy. You can see we got this nice transom bracket back here. Swim ladder over here. He did a kind of a custom live well there, something different, but it definitely gets the job done. Probably my favorite part about this boat is you can see how much room for fishing you have back here. Combing pads all around. Got your two captain's chairs, a little extra storage. In the floor, these are fish boxes. I'm trying not to get you too dizzy here. That need to be drained. Like I said, ton of rain today. Nice hard top with an enclosure. Plenty of rod holders all around, which is nice. Storage over here. Got your trim tabs, fresh Garmin, windlass controls. Pop this open for you. Little porta potty, couple of cushions, just something to get out of the weather if need be. Electronics box up top. They did a pretty good job with this boat. You got a nice easy step up here, good walk around, and a handrail to hold on the whole way across, especially if you're in some rough stuff. I know your Cali waters over there are a lot bigger than mine probably over here. <laughs> Looks like an old radar, old Furuno or something. Got a big LED light bar. Looks like a solar panel, battery conditioner, VHF antenna. Got storage for your fenders right here. There's a windlass. Looks like there was some kind of repair done here. But it's pretty solid. And I can stand right on the anchor pulpit. I'll show you. Um, the anchor pulpit does look a little beat up on the bottom side. I'll get off the boat and show you the rest. Nice big bow rail up here too. There's a window. Overall, not a bad boat. But she is definitely not a beauty queen. Probably one of the bigger negatives is uh, the spider cracks on the outside. I'll show you all those. Here's some on this rod holder. There's your batteries. Looks like a fuel water separator. Bilge access. Me personally, the wiring is a little iffy, but you flick the switches and the stuff turns on, so. <laughs> Nice view back here from the transom. We got the big old Evan Rude 250. You can see it has bottom paint on it, but it's uh, definitely flaking off pretty much the entire hole. If you, if you wanted to redo the bottom paint, I would definitely keep that in mind as an expense to come up against. A couple bumps and bruises all throughout this boat, as mentioned, spider cracks. Run down the rub rail. But the hole itself still feels good and solid. Little gouge there, nothing too crazy. More spider cracks. Let's see the anchor pole, but it looks like I might have hit the trailer or something. I'm not sure. But as you saw me standing on top of it, it's still solid, just doesn't look pretty. More spider cracks. That's the boat. I'll give you a couple more profile shots. I'll try to get out here. See the Isinglass on it looks pretty fresh. You can see through it good. But there's that Parker. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you.